So we are learning more about the woman who died today after being shot in those protests in Capitol Hill. Uh, correspondent Jeff Paul has the latest on that part of the story for us tonight. Good evening, Jeff. Yeah, good evening, Shannon. The investigation into the shooting is still in its early stages, but here's what we know so far. The family of the woman killed has confirmed her identity as Ashley Babbitt of San Diego. She was reportedly a 14-year veteran with the Air Force. We also know just the day before the shooting, she sent out this tweet in response to another, quote, Nothing will stop us. They can try and try and try, but the storm is here and it is descending upon D.C. in less than 24 hours, dark to light. The shooting happened after 3 p.m. today inside the Capitol as pro-Trump supporters stormed the building. There is video that appears to show the incident where it shows a crowd of people inside the Capitol yelling. There's seemingly some confusion and chaos, and then you hear a shot fired off. Metropolitan Police later confirmed to Fox News that the woman who was shot died from her injuries. Now, a witness who recorded one of the videos that's circulating spoke with Fox News a short time ago. Here's how he's describing the scene. She didn't say anything. Um, she hit the grounds, and that's when I was filming, and I stopped filming. Um, that's why my videos are split in two, because I had to shine a flashlight on her um, to see if we could stop the bleeding, and we put our hands on her neck to, to try and stop it, and we just watched her eyes go wide, and there was, there was nothing we could do. Now, Babbitt's mother-in-law also told our local Fox affiliate in D.C. that, quote, I really don't know why she decided to do this, what is unclear is specifically where the shooting took place inside the building. Shannon. All right, Jeff Paul for us tonight out west. Thank you. As I mentioned late yesterday, the Metropolitan Police Department is handling the investigation of the U.S. Capitol Police officer involved shooting that occurred in the House lobby area. The decedent in that shooting has been identified as 35-year-old Ashley Pamitan. Ashley also known as Ashley Babbitt of Huntington, Maryland. This remains an active MPD investigation. There were three additional deaths that occurred, which we believe all to be the results of medical emergencies. The decedents have been identified as 50-year-old Benjamin Phillips of Ringtown, Pennsylvania, 55-year-old Kevin Greeson of Athens, Alabama, and 34-year-old Rosario.